join in our entrance hymn on page four. O come, let us worship God, and bow low before God, who made us for He is the Lord of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, let us listen to all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you can take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, here I am. If you remove from your bits oppressed, false accusations, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Our song response. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness of the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, he conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting the Lord. The just man is alive in God's His heart.
heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his justice shall endure forever. His heart shall be exalted in glory. The just man is alive and the right. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the life of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the life of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is seated on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel. Of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning As we continue our study of our Nicene Creed, our profession of faith. Today, I would like to reflect upon the two words that we use when we speak of God. Right at the beginning, we call him the Father. When the fathers at Nicaea, the bishops of the church, gathered together, they, in their formulation of the creed, <coughs> they made it very Trinitarian, if you noticed, because it can be broken up. Speaking about God the Father, the actions of his Son, and the movement of the Holy Spirit, the three phases of the church. We think about the three relationships, and they centered on the Father, because as we know, God the Father is a relational term. Whether we look at the Old Covenant, or the Old Testament, some call it, we look at the New Covenant, we see God's action with his people in that relationship of Father. He often, if you don't mind, ah, that's better, he often speaks to Israel, his chosen people, in that fatherly relationship. You are my chosen son. He speaks in the New Testament at the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. You are my son with whom I am well pleased. He speaks also of uh, 
us through the writings of the apostle Paul and James. It's understood as a relational. God is Father. And God is Father not solely because we are his adopted children, but as a father operates or participates in the act of creation in a family, so God shows his fatherhood in the very beginning through his power to create. He creates all life, <laughs> the universe, the cosmos. Now, all of these are simple and we can understand them. But as I was praying and reflecting more, I realized there's another understanding of God, one that we really don't address enough. And that deals with how our individual personal relationships with our own fathers can affect our understanding, either positively or negatively, when it comes to saying God is Father. And it hit me, you know, I think we could probably, all of us, would say and there were things that we wished our dad would have done better in life. Especially if you're a boy and your dad's working, you think, well, I wish my father could have been at different functions. But if we compare so many of our lives to, and here's my comparison. If you have been to St. Mary's home, that has a special place in the heart of both St. Thomas and St. Bridget's parishes, you will meet children who have been abused by fathers, stepfathers, physical, mental, emotional, verbal, sexual, how do they understand that word father? For some of them, they might place it in the context of how could a father love me because look what a father has done. Some may not have even grown up with the relationship of father. They might even know who their father is. You know, years ago, a single parent family, that was still a taboo years ago, probably back, what, the 40s, 50s? It started to change. Now that's so common, it's like salt on the table. And we thank God that so many good women do so much to raise their children. And to be honest with you, did you ever watch some of those programs? Those women are tougher on their kids than I think sometimes single, uh, double parent homes. But it gets back to the question, how do we understand the father if we have suffered from our own physical father? If he hasn't provided a good example. Does that mean that every person who is, undergoes that abuse will come up and have a, a poor image of God as Father? No, not necessarily. Why? Because, and the beauty is, you know, a father really takes care of his children. And even if the earthly father was a piece of garbage <laughs> toward their child, I mean, treated him in in a very poor way. God the Father knows that that child is his child. And he generally sends other people into their lives to be father figures. To provide children who do not have with examples of what it means to be a father. <coughs> a compassionate gentleman. Someone who can care for them. You know, I'll relate to you one last story. I don't want to browbeat this. A dear friend of mine, the former director of St. Mary's Home, Andy Wynn, was 
telling me a story about a young girl. She was so abused when they first received her. You couldn't really even touch her. She was, had been so abused. He had, if you remember the late Father Ernie Hyman, God rest his soul. Father Ernie, brilliant guy, tragically passed away early. He was saying mass for the children at St. Mary's home. I was speaking of God as Father. And that girl said, in the front row looked at him after he had given this talk about the Father who loves She said, how can God love me if I have gone through all of this? That was a very serious question. And without a moment's pause, Father Hyman walks down and says, God the Father loves you because she's placed you in a place where you will never suffer that abuse again. That's a really good answer. God the Father loves each one of us so much that if you stop and you consider it, you will see so many people who have influenced your life as Father. And they have done that because your Heavenly Father wants you to be the best. So today as you go out and you get ready for your next week, Although your children may have been grown, you gentlemen can still be father to so many by your example. And you ladies can continue to encourage the gentlemen to be men of honor and virtue and to pass on that fatherly influence to those who need it. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand for our profession of faith, our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and then rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. Let us be light for the world by being attentive to the needs of our neighbors and lifting them up in prayer. That our holy church might be a light to the world shining in the way we treat one another and care for those on the periphery of society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our country might renew its commitment to the values of civil discourse, care for the downtrodden, and support for the common good for all, so that we may once again be light for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have consecrated their lives to the proclamation of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and for all who have dedicated themselves to healing and caring for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, as we strive through our ministries of outreach to be salt and light for our corner of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the names in our parish group, Marie Ruck, Mary Bracken, a special intention, Joyce and family, Brooks family, Eva Roberts, Grady Booth, special intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us remember you, the parishioners of St. Thomas and St. Bridget's parishes, for your needs and the needs of your family, this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. 
Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our <coughs> duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, for the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that after taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin to the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. You may have a seat, please. At this time, our ushers will take up our second collection for our building and maintenance fund. Thank you for your generosity. Just a reminder in your bulletin, there is an announcement from the ladies auxiliary about their bingo, so just be aware of that. Wednesday night is parish council at 7-ish, depending uh, on the 6 p.m. mass, so Wednesday night. And Deacon Bullock is going to be available to lead us in communion services this week. I'm taking a vacation called jury duty. <laughs> but, uh, so whenever I get dismissed, I'll come back and it'll be uh, the same as usual. We'll just pick up with masses whenever that happens. It may happen as early as Tuesday. But we, thank God we have Deacon Bullock who can, uh, assist at this time and just you know remember Deacon Bullock can marry he can marry he can baptize <laughs> he can bless religious objects holy water so he can do a lot of great things so we're communion services being one also so thank you Deacon Bullock for helping out so much as you do let us stand now and pray our prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed, be, God. Be, Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that is so. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be our Holy. 